What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I am really excited to bring you another Balkan Architect course. Now this will be a really interesting course, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now and that is a course that's going to cover in depth everything you need to know about curtain walls in Revit. So curtain walls are one of these system families that come with Revit and they're usually pretty simple, usually you don't go any further than something like this over here and of course don't worry if you don't know this, this course will be covering covering that as well. So we're starting from zero, starting from scratch, and then basically checking out all of the options, how to place curtain walls, how to place them within regular walls, how to change all of the elements that are contained within this system family. So system family basically means it's a family that's within the project and it consists out of multiple families. In this case we have multiple panels as well as multiple mullions. So this is what we're going to be covering. That we're going then we're going to be moving on to creating a completely new out of the completely new uh, curtain wall, and it's going to have all of the elements are going to be modeled uh, within this course. So we're going to be creating this interesting uh, looking mullion, also a new glass panel that's quite different from the ones that come with Revit. And when we go into the floor plan, here you can see the glass panel is actually two planes of glass with some air in between for instance and also the mullion has some detailing. Now this detailing doesn't have to appear always so you can always set it the detail level to coarse or medium and then you don't get that extra detailing but if you want to have detailing go to fine and then you have your mullion detailing. Also these panels are actually going inside of the mullion just as it should in real life so this is something that we're mimicking within Revit. Usually the regular ones, the regular curtain wall, let me place one here so if I just go to curtain wall let's go with the storefront one because it has all of the elements so there we go. As you can see it looks very basic, you don't really have anything and just comparing it to the one that we create you can already notice the difference just in all of the detailing and all of the extra elements it holds. So this is something that we're going to be covering as well. Also in the end just for fun and for just something interesting we're going to be creating this cool looking spider facade using this spider fitting we'll just load it in, add some construction and play around. But the most important part of this course is to create uh, to learn how to create these uh, these system families that include families within them like this mullion that actually has a detail family loaded in so these are some nested families that are then loaded into our final system family that is a curtain wall so that's it for this course, that's what this course covers, so you should be able to, if you have no experience with working with uh, curtain walls, you should be able to come in and learn everything from zero to, well, becoming an expert in creating uh, these curtain walls in Revit just by watching this course. And if you want to get access to this course, uh, you can check out my Patreon, the first link in the description, so you get access to both this course as well as the nine other courses that I've done so far, and then you will get access to any new course that comes out. I'm doing one each Tuesday, so one new course, one new one hour course, so just like this one, will be coming out each Tuesday, so just check that out, first link in the description. And also maybe if you don't want to get a course but you just want to get all of the families that I create and use within this course, you can also find that on my Patreon. It's a bit cheaper and you just get access to the project files without seeing the actual uh, courses and, and not just the, the project files within this course but all of my Revit project files that I've ever created so it's I've got really hundreds of them so check that out. Okay so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I hope you check this course out. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. I'm coming with another regular tutorial in a couple of days.